Hello, I'm here to help you fellows understand why refraction occurs and why it's important. Refraction is when light passes from one medium to another, meaning from a transparent substance to another made out of something else, which then results in the deflection of the light ray. Here's an analogy. Consider this car moving on the concrete directed at an angle to the boundary between the concrete and grass surfaces. The car will obviously move slower on the grass. Now, at some point in time, this will happen. You will have one front wheel on the grass, while we have another front wheel on the concrete. This means the left side of the car will move faster than the right side. Therefore, the car will turn right. Light will respond in exactly the same way. Here you can see one part of the light wave will be in the water, while the rest will be in the air, making it turn. This is therefore a wave property of light, because light needs to be larger than just a particle or point for refraction to happen. It needs to have weight, so it can be two mediums for a short time. The amount of deflection is quantified as a value called the refractive index. It depends on two things, the first being the type of material, and the second is the wavelength of the light in question. If you imagine the car, its dimensions, or how long or wide it is, will change how much time is spent with one wheel on the concrete and one wheel on the grass, and therefore how much the car will turn. And it's the same with light. This is the reason why rainbows form, because when light enters a medium, each color and therefore wavelength will deflect by a different amount as the refractive index in the same substance is different. Refraction is significant if you wish to pursue an engineering career as it's often applied when work with imaging like cameras or satellites in a lens, or working with cool lasers. Thank you very much for listening to me. I hope you guys pass your exams.